In this craft, we are making cute miniature pillows. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Once you've clicked, be sure to hit the notification bell and to choose all notifications. And while you're here, you can go ahead and check out my vlogging channel listed in the featured channels below called The Randall Family. Click on the link, it'll take you straight to the videos. For this craft, you will need canvas fabric, craft paint, fabric scissors, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine, and pillow stuffing. Let's get started! To make your own design for the pillows, take a piece of tape and stick it to a piece of parchment paper. Then you can sketch out the shape or object that you want, and this will create a stencil. Carefully cut out your design, peel away the tape from the parchment paper, and place it on your canvas fabric. You should have two pieces identically cut for the pillow. For this pillow, I created a wave stencil, but I'm also going to add extra tape to create stripes. Once the tape is in place, you can paint the pillow whatever color you like. For this one, I'm going to have the canvas fabric show through and pink stripes, and then I'll paint the wave last. Now let the paint completely dry before you try to tear away the tape. Once it's dried, it feels so good to peel away the tape. So satisfying. Now I have the wave left behind in the center and I'm just gonna freehand that by following the pattern. Well, if you accidentally drop your paintbrush, quickly grab a baby wipe or a washcloth and try to wipe away the paint. Otherwise, you can cover it up with another color or just blend it in to make it look like it wasn't an accident. For the next pillow design, and I'm actually making a set, so a pair of two, I'm gonna go for the abstract designs. Now with abstract designs, you can literally do any type of colors and shapes that you want. It doesn't have to make sense at all, but looking at all these colors just makes me happy, which is why I love it. Now once the first layer of paint dried, I grabbed a wooden craft stick, dipped it in black paint, and just created dots all over the pillow. You don't have to do a pattern, just go with what looks good to your eye. I also decided to throw in a few X's and T's. For this last pillow design, I am totally going beachy. But also, since I love so much color, I will add a rainbow in there. The pillow will say waves for days, and you do need to freehand it to give it that authentic feel. It's not gonna be a perfect text or print, but it's going to look great. You'll notice I'm kind of all over the place while I'm painting this. I started with waves, but then since it's five letters, the even letter would be V, so I started with V. I just like to center up my words as much as possible to the naked eye. And then I started with the rainbow after that. I needed to let it dry before I added the second layer of orange, so then I went back to the words to do four. And then again, back to the letters, back to the rainbow, so I kept switching off just to let the rainbow dry in between coats and so I could keep all my words as even as possible. Now when drawing or sketching or painting waves, you always want to create that curve peak at the top before you bring it back under. It just kind of helps you create the wave. And I also love how all these waves are kind of different shapes and sizes. It just looks really cute in my opinion. And again, back to layering the rainbow colors, back down to the waves to add a hint of blue, and then back to the rainbow again.
Once all your pillow canvases are dry, it's time to stitch them together. Grab the second piece, make sure the right side is on the inside, and go ahead and stitch around the outside, leaving a small opening on one of the sides, or you can leave open the entire side. Some of the miniature pillows I have are completely stitched at the bottom, and some of them just have like an inch gap at the bottom. Either way, it's gonna look great. At this point, we're almost at the end. Take your pillow and turn it inside out, pulling it out of that small gap that you left open. And it might be a little tricky because canvas fabric is a little thicker and heavier than just a regular pillow fabric, but it's really durable and I love to paint on it. Once you have it completely pulled out, grab a chopstick and poke all four corners of the pillow and then you can take your pillow stuffing and stuff the pillow. If you want a really tight, firm pillow, give it a lot of stuffing. If you want it softer and squishy, just give it a little bit of stuffing. Stuff, 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 stuff. I actually took one of my overstuffed pillows, pulled some of the batting out and used it for these. Yay, it was already on hand. Now go ahead and stitch up that opening Use pins to hold it in place just to make sure you get an even stitch. Yes, this is the best part. Your pillows are complete and now you can decorate the dollhouse. Place it on your miniature beds or you can even use these in your own bedrooms. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the craft. Share the video with your friends. Leave a comment below with your favorite design and pattern that I created today and just craft it. Oh, and if you wanna see how I created this entire bedroom scene, head on over to Sunshine Sprinkles and watch the beachy bedroom setup. This is for our American Girl of the Year 2020 Joss. <laughs>